Hello everyone, welcome to Palm Reading Freya. This is going to be general reading for everyone under the zodiac sign of Leo. Let's see what is important to know for Leo for the month of September. Okay. This tarot card reading is for everyone that crosses this path under the zodiac sign of Leo. Please allow me to see what is important to know for them for the month of September. I'm open to receive for Leo. Okay, Leo. Let's see what is important to know for you for the month of September. Love, money, career. What is important to know for Leo for the month of September? Okay, I cut the deck and I begin pulling the cards. Okay. Okay, I will pull the immediate energy from the past. Okay, sorry. Let's make sure it's doing that. Okay, for Leo. What is important to notice that you have not seen or realized? For Leo, what is important to notice or bring to the surface that they have not seen or realized? That is hidden. What is important to bring to the surface? For Leo, September. Show the world the real you when it comes to love. When it comes to love for Leo. Oh my goodness, my hair. When it comes to love, what is important to know for Leo for the month of September? Leo. Okay, we have attraction. Last card for guidance. Last card for guidance. for you. Okay, we have cleaned it up. Okay, so I will begin talking about now what I see um, has happened to you in the past, moving to the present, and then to the near future, okay? The month of September, the whole month of September. Okay, so for some of you under um, the zodiac sign of Leo, I see that there has been um, a little more communication. This can be in your workplace or with the people you value. Um, this communication is allowing you to have a better understanding or, you know, uh, be a little more willing to give and also as well to receive. Um, there is a lot of responsibilities on, on the shoulders of some of you Leos and I can see well, this I, I'm sensing, okay, that some of you will be dealing with a lot of, um, can be neck pain, shoulder pain, or knees, under knees, pain on your knees, because I think that maybe many of you might be standing for long periods of, periods of time, and, um, Please, if this is the case, okay, if you are a Leo and you stand in your workplace for a long period of time, maybe thinking about buying a special socks for that improve your circula circulation or buying more comfortable shoes or uh, the pads that they sell at Walmart, they, they have like gel. I think that can help you also uh, improving your posture, standing straight. I think that um, that would be great for many of you if you have the bad habit of hunching over, um, maybe buying a strap for your back, that is what it will help you, okay? I also see um, some of you Leos resolving some of the conflicts, okay? Resolving some of the conflicts that you had had in the past and beginning to act up on plans and ideas. Even though you know that I can see how some of you are trying to move these plans and ideas forward. Uh, for some of you, Leos, I see you um, thinking or feeling things are not going as planned. Um, things are getting, I mean, you are having setbacks. Uh, even though you give it your best shot, um, it seems to be like, um, yes, you are resolving, but um, it's not 100% resolving. It's not 100% clarity or 
maybe there is something that is lingering from what has happened in the past in your relationships especially and this is because yes you have talked about it but um something remains something remains this can be in your feelings or it can also be the feeling in you that you are not feeling supported or when you need um, the help uh, the support or the um, you know the 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 words of encouragement either from your partner or from the one you value are not there okay and this can be uh, bringing in your life the setbacks and the miscommunication and the mis misunderstandings not only with the one you value your partner or your boyfriend or your girlfriend but um, also with other people as well that is around you okay now if you are a woman listening to this reading I see a man around you I would try to describe this man in in the in, a, in energy in the best of my ability uh, okay for this man I see him um, as a very sensitive man it's a, he has a caring nature for some of you I feel that this man that I'm seeing right now is going to be younger than you especially if you are in your 40s and you are single and looking for someone I see this man uh, looking younger than you um, there's going to be a lot of attraction and what is going to make this um, man feel attracted to you is that you really know how to enjoy the moment uh, maybe you have a happy nature maybe you uh, laugh a lot or I don't know you know it's something in your personality uh, that is something that maybe you will think um, that nobody noticed that is going to tra attract this person to you and he can be really supported he can be very loving romantic uh, sensitive uh, he will listen to what you have to say and also as well he will uh, share with you uh, things that had happened to him in the past if you are a man listening to this reading you can be this man now if you are a man listening to this reading I also see a woman around you okay uh, this woman um, is very straightforward uh, it doesn't go around the bushes uh, when she needs to express something or say something she is very direct and she is not going to um, maybe take no for an answer about anything that has to be finalized or or needs to be done um, there can be a confrontation with this woman because she has uh, something to tell you that is going to be important okay this uh, what I see that this woman is going to be telling you is related to family family issues maybe how she feels unsupported um, that you are not there when she needs you the most and etc things like that okay but the information can at times feel hurtful from this woman because um, even to her okay even to her at times she might just say whatever she wants to say and then she will think back to what had happened and think oh that came out wrong that came out wrong and maybe at times she would think I shouldn't have said it or I should have said it but I shouldn't have said it like that okay so um, just be ready um, I mean, if she is coming toward you uh, with a lot of conflict, it will be better for you to try, okay, try, because I know how it could be hard to understand where she is coming from, and maybe if it, if, if it presents argumentative, turn it around and take that as an opportunity to communicate or really listen about, really hear, listen what she is trying to tell you okay even if it's hurtful but maybe this is really is in reality how she feels okay now I see contradictions okay I see contradictions and this is indicating me two different things for some of you Leo okay um, for some of you that are falling in love that are feeling attractive uh, to someone um, 
you're gonna feel like okay uh because love is in the air because attraction is 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 gaining momentum and it's kind of turning into something powerful you're gonna feel like okay i have everything i need i have all my cor my corners covered i have love i have the finances i have family i have everything you know um there is going to be uh things that will motivate you uh in the month of september to continue moving forward in life okay there can be a, also as well celebrations parties weddings um w in where in in where or in this place uh maybe you can meet this person or maybe you talk to this person or maybe you go to a gathering with this person okay and everything is going to go well now some of you uh you know that you have to make decisions okay you know that you have to make decisions because what i see when i see as i see two different things is some of you are having a lot of problems in your relationships miscommunication fights misunderstandings uh what i see for you coming in the month of september and also this can linger in the month of october is a lot of fights misunderstandings tears uh miscommunication once and again and it's a it's a dissatisfaction and disappointment the feeling of of feeling this sense of sadness because things are not working out it's important for some of you to know and understand that it's time to clean it up okay uh what i hear is like okay from the past you know that there are decisions needed to be made okay because many of you leos what you are doing is thinking okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna try to do it by the end of this month and blah 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 blah, blah like that okay but you are thinking it but actually you are not acting up on the on those ideas and those plans and ideas okay so it's time to clean it up it's even what i see is going to help the energy you know if you feel like you're stuck and things are not moving forward what i see is going to help is including cleaning up around you okay if you have a lot of clutter begin decluttering either your desk uh, your kitchen your home uh, your closets whatever you are no longer using uh, begin taking it out why because this is going to uh, also uh, put in motion the energy okay that is time to clean it up it's time to change what you need to take i mean it's time to change what you need to change and it's time to make the decisions that you need to make okay you can prolong it and you can try to keep waiting okay for a period of time but sooner or later you're gonna have to make those decisions especially when it comes to your relationships i think that some of you might have been lying to yourself but it's time to to show you true self what you really feel, what you really want, and what are you going to do? Okay, it's time to act. It's time to st take a stand and put one foot in front of the other when it comes to those plans and ideas that you had had in the past months or in the past weeks. Okay, the time is now because there's room. Okay, there is going to be a lot of room for you, Leos, to grow, to grow and. Uh, make those plans and ideas a reality and i can see that this can work for you but if you base your decisions in fears then once and again you are going to feel trapped why are you going to feel trapped because i think many of you leos are telling yourself a story or are telling yourself something and trying to convince you of um, what is best for you okay but um that is not based on reality, okay? It's like uh, thinking, no, I have to stay with my partner because that is the best thing that I can do for the kids and the family. Uh, we are good here, okay? Um, another another way, no. Whatever I'm thinking, whatever I'm feeling, or oh, distrusting my partner, or not feeling happy, uh, I'm not really feeling that, okay? You begin lying to, you, to yourself. You begin convincing yourself there is no obstacles to make things happen the only obstacle is you the way you are thinking and the way you are denying yourself from the reality okay there is going to be a um okay uh this is can be a proposition or an offer uh this can be from your partner or someone else someone that is going to be around you but these are uh, propositions 
is this proposition is going to feel like you, oh my gosh, no, that is not what I want right now. Okay, it's like, um, yes, I, I kind of wanted it. It's, okay, let me go back, rewind. It's like when you wanted something for a long time, okay? Like, for example, to get married, the, you, you wanted your partner to propose, you wanted to have a trip, go on a trip, you wanted something, okay? But it comes, finally it comes, but something has changed, okay? N things are not the same. And you say, like, you know what? If you would have said that um, a year ago, six months ago, this could have been another story. But now, that is not what I want. It's not satisfying me anymore. It's not, it's not making me happy. And this is why you might reject that, that um, proposition, okay? It's an offer of love. It's an offer of maybe escalating something, but that is totally not what you want. Why? Because maybe it's too late. Maybe this makes you feel sad. Maybe your feelings have changed for your partner or something is not there. Something is missing. Uh, and this can also be including that you are having feelings for someone else. Okay? So, Leos, that is all I have for you. Thank you so very much for allowing me. If you would like to book a private reading with me in the description box, my hair, uh, you can find out how. Okay? If not, just comment. How can I message you? How can I come in contact with you? And I will send you my link. Thank you, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.